Today I want to show you how to set up dual mono parallel compression in Cubase. Hey, what's up my friends? What is going on? Chris here from Mixdown Online. I am once again very happy to be here with you, sharing with you a Cubase tip. And this uh, video is going to be all about what we've seen in the previous video where I talked about the rear bus technique um, from Andrew Sheps. And uh, now we're going to try to create a dual mono compressor channel in Cubase so we can apply the same technique uh, using a stuck plugin out of Cubase instead of a third party plugin. Um, so, trying to do everything within uh, Cubase. So, if you didn't watch that video, I'm going to leave the link on top and down in the description so you can have a look on what the technique, the Andrew Shep's uh, rear bus compression technique, is all about. And you'll understand why uh, I'm going to create that within Cubase instead of a third party plugin. So, let's jump into it. Let's go in Cubase and look at what we have. Okay, now there's the rear bus channel. So this is basically the channel um, that I'm using for dual mono processing with a compressor. And the compressor that I'm using on this uh, session is the T-Rex DynamU compressor, which has a, a link and on link option here. So basically, I'm just going to jump into quickly on what a dual mono compressor will do or, you know, any types of plugins that are dual mono. Um, basically, the left and right signal that comes into the compressor are going to be treated independently from each other. So in the case of a compressor, what that means is that instead of applying uh, the compressor on the entire stereo field, on the full stereo sound, uh, the compressor will be applied on each side individually and dependently. So if there's a loud sound that needs to be compressed that comes from the left side of the, uh, of the uh, stereo field, if the compressor is in stereo mode, the signal is going to be compressed on the entire stereo field. But if it's in dual mono mode, only one side of the compressor is going to be affected by the compressor and not the other side. So let's try to set that up in Cubase without having to use a third party plugin because Cubase doesn't support dual mono on its stereo channels the way Pro Tools and Logic does. Um, okay, so let's try to, you know, do the workaround to fix that up. So what I'm going to do here first, I'm just going to get rid of that uh, rear bus uh, compressor channel. All right, now it's out. All right, so what I'm going to do, let me, okay. I'm going to select um, all the channels that I want to send a signal on that rear bus FX channel. I'm going to select all of those. In my case, those are the channels I want to send to that dual mono compressor. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select add FX channel. And then I'm going to select vintage compressor. And uh, I'm going to click and select mono. Okay, and I'm going to select two channels. I'm going to call this one rear bus, rear B left. And the other one is going to be right. All right. Okay. And the other one is going to be R for right. So those are my two channels with the vintage compressor inserted. Okay, let me bring those two channels to the right side of my mix console. Uh, and there you go. So now those two effects channel tracks are mono, and this is very, very important. I need to send a signal of those main stereo buses, my instrument buses, to, that, uh, to those two channels, which was already done. I'm going to select all of them, click on Quick Link, make sure Quick Link is activated. Um, and then I'm going to click on the channel settings window and on the send tab, I'm going to click on panning. And what I'm going to do, the first one is going to the left side. Okay. Uh, the rear bus left. 
So I'm going to just bring the panning to the left and I'm going to do the opposite for the third send, which is going into rear BR, which is rear bus right. And since that I clicked on quick link, everything was applied on all those channels. Then what I need to do is to uh, make sure the left bus, it's a mono bus, so I need to put that to the far left and the other one to the right. So what I'm gonna do next is to select those two buses, right click and add VCA fader to selected channels. And there you go, uh, it's right here on the left zone. I'm gonna just click so I can bring that to the right side of the mix console. And now I have my VCA um, linked to those two channels. So it's gonna be way easier for me to control uh, the volume of that parallel channel. Uh, what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna make sure that um, if I select them both again and click on the edit link group settings on top, uh, I'm gonna make sure that uh, inserts is selected. So this way, those two compressors, when I'm gonna apply um, some changes on one of them, th the changes are gonna be applied to both compressors. Okay, so I won't need to just uh, go uh, back and forth from one compressor to the other. So I just need to open one and I am good to go. All right, so now let's try to uh, set up the compressor. Um, to start with, let me go with a Okay, it's a slower attack, uh, bring the release. I'm gonna start with a release at around 50 milliseconds, two for one ratio, full mix, blend. And uh, let me just bring that up a bit, bring that down. So everything is going to uh, that channel except the drums. If you wanna know why, watch one of the last videos where I talked about the Andrew Shep's uh, rear bus technique and everything is explained uh, directly on that video. Uh, okay, so let's have a quick listen. Walking in the way Many saints have gone before A holy road to travel on And your joy fills me Okay, I'm gonna start with this and then I'm gonna blend that in to the mix. Walking in the way Many saints have gone before Now, if you're not working with the pro version of Cubase, you don't have access to a VCA fader. So in this case, I have another workaround for you. You can use a group channel track instead of a VCA fader, and this is how it works. In this case, I'm gonna select both of my mono rear bus channels, right click, click on add group channel to selected tracks, and I'm gonna make sure it's stereo, and I'm gonna make sure the audio output is going into my stereo out. I'm gonna name this one Rear ST, click on Add Track. Now this group track will manage the amount of rear bus level I wanna to add to my mix. Now let's look at one last option, and this one is a bit more of an advanced option. Okay, now I went back to my original rear bus stereo channel right here, where I want this channel to be dual mono. On my last video, I inserted a plugin that had a, um, a dual mono option directly on the plugin, but this time around, I'm gonna use the vintage compressor from Cubase. And I'm gonna set that up so the channel acts like a dual mono channel in a way. Okay, first I'm gonna duplicate that instance of vintage compressor. And then I'm gonna open the channel settings window. I'm gonna make sure my rear bus uh, channel is selected by doing so. So now on the left, I have my two compressors, the same instance of uh, the vintage compressor on both first and second slot. Now I'm gonna go at the bottom and click on routing. And this is a feature found only on the pro version of Cubase. Okay, so let's try to make that simple. I have my first and second plugin of the same vintage compressor. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna look and uh, select the first one. 
I'm going to click on that small arrow and I have like a few options. I'm going to select mono to start with. Then I'm going to double click and that will open the routing editor window. Uh, just to explain to you how that works, I'm going to try to make that very simple. Uh, on top, we have what's coming into the plugin. The gray zone here represents the plugin. And then at the bottom, we have the output, what's coming out of the plugin. So if I go back and I click on that same arrow and I select default stereo, I'm going to have both the left and the right as an input going into the plugin and going out of the plugin with the left and right version of the signal. So what I'm going to do instead, again, is to select mono, okay? This is the way I want it to set up. I want the first compressor to take care of the left side of the stereo source. Then I'm going to do the same with the second plugin, select mono, double click on it. But this time around, I'm going to switch those in and out to the right side. There you go. So now the second plugin is going to take care of the right side of the stereo source. Okay, let's open both plugins the left, the right. Walking in the way many saints have gone before A holy road to travel on Your joy fills my heart Strengthens me with hope to share So this is the option using the, uh, the routing editor. Again, only available on the pro version of Cubase. Now the downside on using this method is that you can't link those two plugins together. Uh, so every time you'll need to make an adjustment on one of the compressors or other plugins you're using, you'll need to do the same thing on the second one manually. Okay, so this is a bit of a downside. So if you're using Cubase Pro, this is also a very good option. So there you go, we have now created a dual mono parallel compression channel in Cubase using Cubase plugins. Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's be honest, that works pretty well, but it is longer, it's way more steps than insert the plugin that has dual mono. But it is a very good workaround if you don't have access to a dual mono plugin and you want to use this technique. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, share and like, and also, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, again, feel free to leave everything down below. And until next time, take care and see you.